see something? Talk about uh, TTTK in Power Plant. Okay. So really, it's your turn. Hmm? Thank, you. Thank you. Okay, good morning all. Uh, as you can see on my starting page, I'm coming from a nuclear power plant in Switzerland, and I will talk today about the use of Tickle Decay in our power plant simulator. And in the second part, I will show you our simulator. Question? Yeah? Is that cooling tower really painted up that way in real life, or is that some sort of visual thing happening? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was uh, before I came there. So that, that's real. That's real. That's real, yeah. It was a <laughs> some, some artist has, has made it. There are also pictures also with uh, butterflies and I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The biggest part is uh, the cooling tower and uh, the reactor is inside this building, this small one. <laughs> okay, uh, at first I will give you uh, some general overview over the power plant simulation. I will talk about uh, the structure of our simulator and then I come to uh, my use development environment. I can give you some short examples of, of script functions. We'll talk about uh, our archive. It's using uh, SQLite. <laughs> and then I come to the demo. <laughs> yeah. So that's when we, uh, when we started uh, building simulators in the 90s. We were using uh, big mainframe computers, specialized computers. And the hardware was very expensive. You can see it here. This is a good. Uh, it's an anchor. Okay. Uh, and you uh, have found uh, this is uh, uh, HTTP page, and you can look at this page. I don't know. Is it a, a real page or is it a um, page from the Wayback Machine? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot decide it. Uh, then we are using uh, specialized uh, big workstations like uh, Sun here. And currently we are using uh, just uh, normal PC hardware. And uh, this presentation I have on my laptop is, this laptop is also five years old and it's running the simulator. So we can see the, the hardware development has influenced the simulation. Uh, software we are using uh, for the core models uh, Fortran still today and uh, process and control models are also in Fortran or a, sp a special dialect of Fortran, it's called Flex. It's used to uh, access uh, global variables in the simulation programs and we are using for non-modeling mostly C and C++ in modern environments also will be used uh, Qt and Java. That's the structure of our simulator. We have uh, a simulation computer. On the computer are running the, the models and inside uh, of the simulation tasks are all the variables and constants of our process. And we can uh, set see all the variables and constants from external files and we can save also uh, the current state of the simulator so we can do some, some backtracks or we can switch to, to other initial conditions. All the variables and constants are maintained in a database and uh, in our in our applications, we are using also SQLite as database in, for this task. And for the archive, I have made uh, two databases. It was because of uh, performance concerns. I have uh, one library running inside the simulator, and this library will write all the, the archive data 
in the archive data database and uh, changes of the variables uh, will be written from outside in the archive config database and will only be read from the simulator. I have on the second part of the, of the page I have some, some numbers. We have one and a half million variables and constants, many mail functions. Uh, with mail functions we can influence the simulation and we can destroy pumps or destroy pipes. We can make mail uh, make a uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> I will show you later, maybe. Then we have uh, a connection to uh, a panel. The panel is, uh, is the interface to, to the operators, and our simulator is, uh, the, the, the main purpose of the simulator is to instruct uh, new operators and to teach existing operators. And so we have a an, an full scope simulator with a complete uh, duplication of the normal main control room. And uh, all the signals are, are computed from, from our simulator. So, and the simulator is uh, running in real time. And every uh, 250 milliseconds, uh, we compute uh, the whole simulation process. All, all, uh, all the, all things, uh, the core model, the whole controls, the process models, everything in 250 milliseconds. So now to the use of Tickle TK, I have uh, built my applications with a, a kit, with a specialized kit. Uh, I use these packages. And I have made some modifications to the existing packages. In RBC, I have uh, built in more default ticks. I have changed the bindings. Then I use uh, TK path and from from Android, from Androvish, from Christian. And I had made some some changes together with Christian, so that we can. Uh, Put uh, that we can create from the TK Pace canvas uh, a PDF. You can see it. Um, and I have some have made a, a change to TK, and then I use a, a progress bar with with text on it. I use some icons, and my I have a. a a own extension to connect to the simulator. The simulator provides an RPC interface, and I had made an, an tickle extension to access these RPC functions. So some some script functions. In my code, I use some 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 shortcuts. So in my opinion, it's it's better readable, and and I can easily pass the code. Uh, some shortcuts for images and for, for text and for logging messages. I use an extension to the O class command with uh, some other methods. Uh, then I have made an extension to the grid command so that you can use all the grid co uh, configure comments uh, in the same line like uh, the, the grid slave comment. So it's easier for me to, to maintain a special, uh, a single widget because it's all on, on one line. Then all the messages in the simulator are with these syntax. And I have an, an parser to extract all the messages and create uh, message cut files. Some other functions. Uh, archive, I have talked about on the start. Uh, yes, in, in the archive database, I have a, a table to describe all the used variables. <coughs> and for each of the used variables, I have a an, an table with the data for this variable. I've made, I have used uh, this syntax to uh, uh, 
Uh, so, so that I don't have to use an, an extra row ID, so it, it comes compactor. Um, yeah, the database will only be written, uh, be, be written by the simulator and it will be read from a Windows service. And changes to the variables uh, can only occur in, in freeze mode when the simulator is standing, not when it's running because of performance concerns. And when I, I drop a variable, then I have to, to drop the table. So, uh, but I have to, to look how big is the table, how many entries are in the table. And if it's too big, I cannot drop uh, all the tables because it takes too long. So I just rename the tables and then I incrementally drop it. So some, some data, we have around <coughs> 400 megabyte per hour in the archive. And uh, if the archive is uh, bigger than two giga, then we can see some delay in displaying this data. That's a picture of our main control room, and the, the same room exists in the simulator. And all the, the data of, of the instruments are given from the simulator. So that's an overview uh, of our simulator applications three years ago. It was... Uh, hmm? Very different applications. <laughs> um, now I go to the demonstration of the simulator. That's our instructor station. Here in the instructor station, we can load an initial condition. That's a 100% condition. We have 100% uh, load, we have 1060 megawatt electrical power generation. So, uh, on, on the top of the, the page, we have our, our main variables of the, simula uh, of, the, of the simulation, and we can show these variables in a curve display. You can see uh, the older values are coming from, from the archive. So if I have variables in the archive, I get uh, all the values from the start of the simulation. Then we have an application to show the control and process drawings. These drawings represent uh, the simulation models of these drawings. Come on. Here I have a big drawing. Just stop the simulator. That's our our electrical system. It's drawing on a TKR Pace canvas here. That's, that's, that's a canvas, that's not a PDF or anything? No, it's a canvas. And I can create a PDF from this canvas. And this PDF I'm using to, uh, to, to print it. Just, it will take a little time here. <laughs> My computer is not so fast, it's five years old. <laughs> what, so, tool, what tool do you use to create those drawings to begin with? Uh, these are an, an old uh, CAD system in our simulator, and it, it has also an, an ASCII representation. And uh, when we have a, a new load, I scan all the files, um, put it in an SQLite database as, <laughs> as a new file format, and uh, I read all the information from this SQLite database and display it here. So, you can see. So, we have here the, the whole drawing, and 
a page for each author drawing, each sub drawing. So we have also, I think it's, it's around 6,000 drawings that we have in the simulator. That's in, in control drawing. And I can also animate drawings with values, with current values. So, so quick question, what are you using to manage the layout? You... I don't manage the layout. No. It's, a, it's an in-cat drawing. Yeah. And I, I have it in, in, in a database, I read it, and I draw it. That's it, Not nothing else. Hmm? Hmm? So then I have also an application for our main control room, and I can have all the, all the panels. Oh, it's... It's a test application now. Is this affecting a real reactor? <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you don't have to be afraid. <laughs> it's far away. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's here in this computer. <laughs> Mini reactor. <laughs> I have all the all the all the panels here. Yeah. Oh. It's also on a, on a T car pass canvas. So, and. Maybe we can use an, an, an TUSA, that means uh, we, we uh, shut down the, the generator. So, and we should see. Oh, no. <laughs> if you're not running, we cannot do it. So, here we see the reaction. So. I just realized that Corazon takes on a whole new significance. Hi! You have Okay, but in 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 uh, in training, uh, if there is such an, a problem was occurred, and um, we we can also go go back. We have a very back machine here. <laughs> I'm going back to this condition. Our curve display will be shortened to the new time. And then we can go on and say maybe it was not a good idea. Uh, we have other functions here. We can put only some, uh, some control rods. It will be done if there is some, some problem anywhere in the reactor and we will uh, lower the power. Here you can see it. It's that's uh, the reactor power. Do you have a fire simulation and it explodes? <laughs> no. Uh, it's interesting if we have an, an, an station blackout, then uh, all uh, all the, the all the lamps in in the in the control room are going out and then going on. That's also. So. Are the, the gauges all? All back to base as well? Yeah, it's all T car pass. So you can also, here you can follow, you can see where are, uh, where there are the, the, the values of these uh, instruments are calculated, or you can show it in, an, in a numeric display, or you can, can overwrite values. So you can say, That will be done by the by the instructors to uh, to teach the people that is uh, a male function in the instrument, and they have to to find it. Oh, you so here we see. So maybe we can do uh, another test. I also have a an, an display of the, of the core of the reactor, 
We have uh, eight levels, eight levels simulated. Maybe we can use uh, the power distribution. You can see it here. And then if we make Now I will shut down our our cooling pump in the secondary circuit and and we see uh, because we don't have uh, enough cooling water we uh, drop uh, we, we, we reduce uh, the generator power that's an automatic operation here. And we can see it also on the display. We, we, these values are getting, getting lower. And then if we if we shut down, maybe or. Maybe we have a problem with our main cooling pump, with, with one of our three main cooling pumps in the in the first circuit also. Then we see Oops, who is this? The reactor is going down even further. And maybe a, a last demo demonstration for, for people who are afraid <laughs> that the simulator can explode or <laughs> can do something crazy. Uh, I can put in, in station blackout. It's... And you can see instantly we don't have any power. And also we, had, we don't have, uh, we have reactor power in the core. And the core is cool. Not really cool, we have some, some, some power uh, over time. You can see it here. That's it. Okay. So, just some last remarks from me. Uh, this pro project to, to build all these applications uh, was a work of roughly two men hours, uh, men, men years. <laughs> men hours. <laughs> two men years <laughs> for me. <laughs> I've worked uh, most of the time of the last three years on, on these projects. And it's written in roughly 30,000 lines of, of Tegel code. And I think uh, we have some hidden goodies in, in our TK. Uh, and it's uh, the TK pass. And it's PDF and the, the graph widget. I currently use uh, in the simulator the RBC version, and I know uh, Christian is using the BLT version. Um, my wish would be to, to include these new widgets uh, in the TK core. Uh, I can all, uh, I do all my, my printing uh, via PDF generation, and it's easy, and it looks good, <laughs> very good. <laughs> yeah. So what does the word vector there refer to in the first line? RBC. What? RBC. 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 Uh, it's in, in RBC has the two the vector and the route. Um, mm, it's, it's used for the, the curve drawings. So 
I think that's all it. Any questions? Because this is um, for training purposes, do, yep. is it, do you avoid a lot of the um, certification problems and safety critical issues that would come up with code that was actually involved in real operation? Or I mean, how much do regulators get involved with your code? Uh, we have a an, an regulation organization in Switzerland that's called ENSI. And, uh, it's uh, clearly defined what is uh, NZ responsible and what not, and the simulator is currently not. <laughs> so, but we uh, use the simulator, per example, in the last two years to uh, to verify new uh, control systems before it goes in the in the real yeah. uh, real plant. It will be uh, checked in the simulator. We have replaced uh, our our. Uh, control system with TXS, and um, all all the models will be run in the simulator yeah. first. And another question: Is this just a single plant, or are there multiple plants that this could work in? It's a a, sim a single plant. Okay. The only one in Switzerland. Hmm? Is it the only uh, plant in Switzerland? No, no, there are more. It's a, a pressurized reactor. We have a saturated water reactor in Leibstadt and one in Mühleberg and in, in Besnau is a, a two reactor block. Your, your wish is there, you talk about SDG, what, what exactly is the wish? Ah, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, because uh, four key displays coming and uh, if you Put your uh, your application on a four key display. You cannot see uh, images. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So how do you validate the model? Like, how can you test if the model is working and it's the same as the reactor? Because you cannot really say like, okay, now we're. We have. We have data from from the real plant. We have a process computer. We have uh, archives of all the data, and we uh, can check it against this data. And uh, I also have a an, an test application for our tests. And there, I can load in an old <coughs> test and a new test and put it over. Maybe I can show it. I have in, in, in the course display. I've shown. I have two different axes. I have one in, in, in left and down, and one in top and right, two independent axes. And I can display curves in, with these axes, and I can shift it. Does your program include uh, any uh, visualizations of the relationships between those variables? Relationship. I don't. I don't know what, what you mean. So you have you have all these variables that are interrelated. Huh? Uh, if you if you wanted to see those I, relationships, uh, I have I have uh, control drawings, okay. so you can see uh, these input variables and then proce processing and output variables, or you have uh, process drawings with pumps and pipes and so on. And, and the code will be generated from these drawings. So we don't uh, write it by hand. It will be generated. We, we draw our. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that you have uh, some uh, problems with the simulator. Are you the only person uh, working with Seeker in the. Currently, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a problem, a potential problem? Uh, we are working on it. <laughs> <laughs> If you get killed, for example. <laughs> <laughs> we are working on it, yeah. Okay. Yes? Okay. It's, it's not very really block. <laughs> <laughs> block B. <laughs> okay. uh, it's, it's a problem, yeah, I know. Could you elaborate on the import process? You say you are importing from a CAT drawing. But is it a flat drawing, or it has special relationships? And this is a button. This is an output. No, 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 no. So you have to mark this. It's it's. Process. Maybe you you know Caddy. It's an, an old old CAD program under MS DOS, yeah. I think, or in the early Windows time, and it's it's an 
cat format, you have a, a record of all your your elements. Yeah, Maybe yeah. a record for for a line and a record for a text and a record for a point or the so all these information. And it's no 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 no. There. Uh, there was um, the, the original uh, developer of, of the simulator has made uh, the drawing and he has uh, some some special special files who tell you what is what oh. what is together you can group it there is a special group sign and uh, maybe group uh, a is a text and it uh, is related to a pump or so you have a, a term to associate with no, you 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 draw uh, the drawing, and you have an, an, an symbol. You have a, a catalog of symbols, and uh, in the symbols, uh, it's defined that an, an analog input and the variable will be built from these text and these text. I'm so. Just about the, 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 the control panel one, but the one where you just display the. The control the panel. Ah, no, no, no. Uh, the control panel um, is uh, described in a table. And in this table, we have for, for each location uh, in, in, in record of uh, variables at this, at this location. And we have a type. So and uh, with this type and the, the name of the variable, I, I or with, with the type, I know which symbol I have to use, and with the variable name, I know which variables I have to connect to the simulator to display it. I think we should stop discussion right now. If you, any of you have detailed uh, 